So, welcome to Pine Lake. I don't know how many of you have been here before, but uh, this is the uh, Robert R. Smith Environmental Field Station behind me. This was built uh, in the late 1990s, uh, I believe. Um, it was, uh, we, we used money that we got in a grant from the New York State Department of Education and Department of Environmental Conservation. And it's used for uh, environmental biology research. Uh, it's got a wet lab in there and some microscopes and uh, stuff like that, other gear. Um, this, uh, the Pine Lake campus has been owned by the uh, Hartwick, by Hartwick College for uh, over 40 years purchased and um, from a private owner and it was uh, we purchased about a thousand acres including the lower track which we're on right now and an upper track which I'll show you in a few minutes and um, a few years ago we sold the upper track to the New York State and um, it is now part of Rydell Park. If I turn around this way you can see the lodge behind me it's a place where people can stay, uh, students can stay, they also came into a place where students can stay. And um, there's also, you can hear the Canada geese down by the lake, there's a big kettle hole lake down there. Um, that uh, is about 12 acres. And then if I turn this way, we'll see where we're going to go first today. We're going to go across the street. Um, get on a trail that takes you ultimately to Mud Lake. We're not going to go that far. We're going to go maybe about, I don't know, a third or half a mile up there. Uh, and we're going to see what salamanders are out um, today. Uh, this part up here is about uh, 600 acres, I think. So let's go. I can see it's pretty dry out um, today. We're just looking for the trail that goes off to the right, goes uphill towards the main trail. Here it is, here's the trail. So that's what we're gonna go up to the fire road. Hey, okay, here we've met up with the main fire road and uh, this used to be the sign-in box. It has seen better days as you can see. So we're just gonna go up this road a little ways and uh, to a place where I know there are at least two or three different species. Okay, here's a good spot. Um, lots of debris to look under. So we'll just uh, search around here a little bit, see what we find. We found a salamander right away. We're not finding him up here. This one, little guy, little guy with his, uh, he's regenerating his tail. Uh, this is a little juvenile. Put the rock back and then let him crawl under it. Mm -hmm. There's another one. Now I can't roll the log back because I might squish this little guy. So I have to pick him up. This is a lungless salamander, Plethodon cenarius, the redback salamander. It's the most abundant vertebrate here in the forest in terms of biomass, believe it or not. Little teeny guy. It's actually nice and wet under these rocks, but it's pretty cold out here today. 
And so this is where I'd usually find Plethodon cenarius, the slimy salamander. But I don't think today we're going to find any. We are finding some redbacks, but I'm not even finding Desmognathus. It's just too cold, I think. So a little bit, um, you know, slim pickings here. I'm not too surprised we had snow on the ground this morning. So uh, we found a few um, redback salamanders here. Uh, sometimes if I come up here with a class, I can find uh, dozens of them, as well as uh, slimy salamanders and Desmognathus. And behind me here, the trail continues on up, and uh, you can uh, can go up this way. And there's a um, there is a uh, another trail that you take. It actually goes off to the right. It looks like to the left on this camera, but uh, <laughs> of course, um, but that will take you to Mud Lake. It will also take you to uh, Shelly Brook where you can find uh, big giant spring, cannibalistic spring salamanders, Gyronopolis, but we're not gonna go there today because I think it's just too cold. We're gonna go back down to the lake and look for newts. Here is the lodge uh, with the Pine Lake office in it, the headquarters. Uh, this has been, this building has been here since before Hartwick owned it. But we now have solar panels on the top, I believe. You can't really see them from this angle. And down there is the Vaudevillian. It's a dance hall, actually. Uh, a vaudevillian uh, dancers and actors used to come up here from New York City um, for vacation and they would practice and entertain locals uh, on this uh, dance floor over here. It's a very, you know, it's a genuine professional style dance floor and we've built onto the front of it. We even have composting toilets in there. So here we see Pine Lake itself. It's a kettle hole lake must have been made maybe you know something like uh, 15,000 years ago I'm not sure but it's it's about 12 acres I think in size there are probably going to be some yeah there are there's quite a few Canada geese out there they're building nests and and mating okay for this part of our adventure we're going to need uh, two pieces of equipment uh, we're going to need our trusty dip net and uh, also we will need our uh, trusty bucket. So we're just going to dip our net, dip net in there and see what we come up with. There's one right in there. Oh, we got it. Let's take a look, see what it is. Uh-huh. This one is a male you can tell because of the enlarged hind limbs and the uh, swollen vent see that swollen vent there he's trying to grab me um and wow yeah um yeah big big hind legs he uses those to grab the female i'll show you what that looks like in another video I think I have another one. I have a feeling we're just going to get males today. I think the females are over in the sort of the nursery. Uh, what do we have here? Yes, this is an, another young male on the lookout for a female. Uh, you see the big tail. If I had a female, I could show you the difference. The hind legs are pronouncedly large, larger, definitely larger than the uh, front limbs. Do you see the red spots on it? Those are warning coloration to fish. Don't mess with me, I'm poisonous. Males are not out. I found another male with the big hind legs, the uh, uh, swollen vent, which you can probably see here, yes, and uh, the wide tail. So anyway, in a few minutes, conditions aren't perfect, but we have three males and I will now put these back into the water and good luck to you guys. 
here we are at uh, Hemlock Swamp. Um, I estimate that there are about nine species at least of amphibians that actually use this swamp for breeding purposes. They come migrating from, um, could be miles away to get to this swamp. And uh, if the weather was better and it was in the uh, nighttime, we would hear a lot of frogs in here right now. Uh, the wood frogs have laid their eggs already. Um, and the peepers uh, would still be going at it. And the salamanders have also laid their eggs already. And I'll show you what those look like in a bit. This is where the uh, wood frogs have laid their eggs. Um, you can see them in this mass around here. It's, uh, it's actually sort of uh, been reduced considerably relative to what it was before. It actually has all come together in one mass in the center. Lots of predators have been eating them, especially um, newts. Uh, the newts crawl all over them and eat eggs. Uh, I'm not sure why they lay them in a big mass like the, this. The, these are wood frog eggs, but they do it and it might actually help uh, protect against predation, ironically enough. And we have found where the females are, one dip net, and uh, I've got several females here. Um, as maybe you can see how small the hind legs are compared to the, uh, the male hind legs, um, and how small the uh, tails are. So these females are up here. Uh, I think, I'm not sure what they're doing up here when the males are down in the bottom. There are probably males around here as well. I suspect these guys are feeding like crazy on all kinds of things, including uh, frog eggs. They're getting ready to uh, lay their eggs to mate. So with this, uh, with this hemlock swamp, you can actually, uh, there's a trail of sorts that goes back to the back of the swamp. You can go around the back edge and then along that side uh, to get back to the main road. And then you can take that road up to the swimming area. You can see the lake is out there. And this uh, swamp is fed by streams, or springs, I mean. And then it drains out right there uh, into the lake. And there are also lots of newts right over in there, probably a lot of female newts. That's, I call it the nursery right over there. But uh, that's it's kind of hard to get to. This is a lot easier uh, for me to get to anyway. Listening to peepers. male wood frogs um, setting up their territories and calling to try to attract females. Um, mostly male newts, it looks like, swimming around, searching for females, search, searching for a mate in Hemlock Swamp. 